What is up, everybody? The History Guy here, and uh, I've had a lot of requests for me to play this game, so I thought I'd dive in at least to the tutorial today just to be able to create discussion about the game Company of Heroes 2. I know it's been out a while, and I played the original Company of Heroes a lot in the past, but I've never really dived into Company of Heroes 2 uh, too much. Um, I got the game free a couple of weeks ago on Steam. They actually were giving it away free on Steam. I think the base game is something like $5 right now to buy, but it was free a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so I thought I would dive into the tutorial today. Uh, there is a lot to unpack about this game, and I'll go over some of that afterwards. But uh, we're going to do the tutorial mission, which uh, just gets you into a little bit of the combat basics. All right, so we're five miles outside Stalingrad. German forces en route to reinforce the assault on Stalingrad come under attack by Soviet ambush. Uh, young German commander is given the task to push forward and clear out an artillery battery. All right, so that's what we're up against. We're going to have to take out the artillery. And uh, I should mention here that uh, while this is a family-friendly channel, I do keep it that way in terms of my commentary. Uh, that is not necessarily the case on this game with some of the dialogue by your soldiers. So just a heads up on that. There is some language by the soldiers in this game. I don't know that there's a way to turn that off. If there is, please let me know and I will do that. But just to give you that heads up. It's not real frequent, but it does happen. Alright. So this I would expect to be fairly easy since it is the tutorial. And it's just kind of getting our feet wet with everything. Um, we're going to rendezvous with the second squad, so let's go ahead and get up here. We've got four soldiers to start with, and in keeping with what you would expect in a tutorial, we get to take cover while we take on Soviets that are in the open, make it nice and easy to get our first shots successful. And so we gain experience with each one of these kills that we get, which uh, will then come in handy later on in the battle, uh, and in the campaign, I should say. So we're going to stay in cover here. Ah, I thought I would see more. Oh, here they come. Okay, perfect. Let's get around on this side of the truck so we get a better view of him. Take these guys out. Boy, I could really use a grenade right now. But these guys are being very kind and just standing there, making themselves easy targets for me. Just taking a little longer because they are... Whoa, that guy just went flying. That was kind of awesome. He just randomly flew in the air. Remember, this game is several years old, so... <laughs> Not entirely sure what that's all about, but there we go. Alright, we got more coming. Alright, perfect. Yeah, we will lob a grenade. That sounds like a great idea, but I guess we've got to get in closer first. Now let's lob said grenade. Thank you. How about we lob another grenade? That only took out one guy. That one kind of landed in front. Oh, that did the did the job, though. What's this guy all about here? Oh, we just had to finish him off, that's all. Okay. Into the unknown here. Okay, now we've got another squad coming in. We've got these guys we're going to get get in on their side and they will be nice to me and just sit there and let me shoot them up from the side of this wall because it is a tutorial so we shouldn't expect anything less I suppose after we finish these guys off we'll lob a grenade at that MG position and maybe a second if called for now that seems to have done the trick pretty well perfect all right, now we get control of the second squad. That definitely opens up the possibilities moving forward. Looks like it's a similar uh, Grenadier squad. All right. Artillery is not an infantryman's friend, so we're going to avoid that like the plague. In fact, that's what we're after is the artillery position. Probably shouldn't have kept these guys so close together like that if I come under ambush. We'll let one squad go up and 
bring the other over here. And it looks like they're going to let me cross the bridge in fine tutorial fashion. All right, I think we're clear. Or not. Where do we have some cover? Looks like that's decent cover, but not great right there. All right, let's, uh, let's toss a grenade at these guys. They don't seem to be too aware of my position. Nice. And another random guy flying in the air. That's always fun. Okay, I guess we're going this way now. Oh, hello. In the open. Is that not the way I'm going? Strange. Did I miss something? Locate the artillery battery. That's what I'm trying to do, boys. I don't know what the problem is here. Might have a little glitch. Okay, so I had to restart the... restart the tutorial because for some reason it didn't trigger these reinforcements coming down like it should have and we were kind of stuck where nothing could happen this time it also blew up the bridge which didn't happen before so just some kind of a little glitch there i guess that stuff happens but now we press on with our attack we got a couple of looks like soviet sni soviet snipers here no they're just rifle infantry all right We've got an anti-tank rifle that we need to take advantage of here and grab. Got a couple of wounded soldiers who probably don't need to do anything to because I don't think they're going to start shooting at me again. So let's get up here. I would guess we're going to have to use this anti-tank gun soon. A little out of range for grenades at the moment. It's not really an ideal place to be. Let's back up. Oh, and there's what we're going to need the anti-tank gun for. Of course. That's kind of the plan here, no? Let's see if we can take this guy out. Nice. Beautiful. Just like it should work in the tutorial. Oh, we got a light machine gun to go grab as well. As soon as we can finish this guy off here, we'll go do that. Oh, it looks like he took out my cover as well, so I don't really have any there anymore. Alright, let's use this LMG. Bye-bye. Yes, excellent idea. Neutralize two pieces of artillery. I'm guessing he's probably got some machine guns to protect, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of cover up here. But he's not in cover either, so not a problem. Can we use our anti-tank gun? on this artillery crew. Why not? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, we lob a grenade in the middle of these guys standing right out in the middle of the open for no reason. Beautiful. A little bit of cover up in here. Let's just finish these guys off. Perfect. There we go. All right, let's go up and get the other one. Everybody behind, behind, hide behind these little trees right there. Anti-tank gun. Grenade. Oh, that anti-tank gun is beautiful. That took out that whole squad. Oh, these guys got a machine gun. Not okay. Not okay. 
Yeah, I know we're suppressed. Take out that machine gun. Alright, there's the anti-tank gun. That should finish him off. Bye bye. Oh, glorious. It will never be this easy again. I know that. I haven't lost a man. Objective complete. Now what? Oh, now we got to take the, uh, the objective point here. I believe in this game you eventually get into, you know, like building things and, you know, the whole bit. It's kind of like a World War II version of something like uh, Age of Empires. Oh boy, we got some fuel right here, so we gotta be super careful. Oh, they're hiding. Oh, come on. Take cover. And blow these guys up. Bye bye. Why would you hide behind fuel tanks in a firefight? What kind of crazy stupidity is that? I don't want to get anywhere near that thing. We didn't quite blow all of them up. So, you know what? Let's do that just so they don't blow them up on me. This poor wounded guy is right next to it. Oh! Okay. I'm guessing we're going to be playing a little defense now. I guess I should check and see how much ammo I have for this thing. I, I'm sure it's not unlimited. Oh, nice. You guys get behind there. But also, you know, shoot. I guess they can't shoot from there. There we go. Now get back. Now we gotta defend it, I'm assuming. Get all aspects of things here. Trenches provide heavy cover. Yes. Defend the victory point. Here we go. What are we gonna be facing now? What do you wanna bet he's got some tanks? Here they come. Yeah, he does have a tank, of course. Rifle grenade. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not, I don't need the grenade that bad. Oh, we got our own armor now. Maybe this is a good time to, I don't know, run away from where his tanks are. All right, so right click and hold. Yeah, because let's not show him that side of our tank. Let's do what he's doing, thank you. Just with a bigger gun. Okay. And he's running. Artillery support? Oh, that's nice. Everything takes a minute or so to get going here. There we go. Left click. Yes, let's please use that. Bye bye. Oh, beautiful. That looked like napalm. High command has provided our great work, Kampfgruppe. Okay, so that looks like that's going to be the end of the tutorial. That's kind of the basics, at least for that. There's still a lot to learn as far as. Uh, you know, building and upgrading and all those sorts of things that uh, come as well with the tutorial, but that gives us kind of the basics of the gameplay itself. Obviously, on a very easy difficulty where it's not too difficult and everything's kind of hand, you know, spoon fed to you, it's hard to lose in that situation. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of what is available to us in this game. And I know that there are add ons. Uh, let's go back and take a look. Uh, so we've got a campaign. Uh, yeah, new tutorials. So let's click on the tutorials because there are other ones. There are tutorial videos. I tell you what, I mean, one thing Company of Heroes does really, really well 
is they they make sure that you can't claim you didn't know how to play the game because they give you so much to learn. Uh, you've got all these tutorial vi videos about construction, spawning, capture points and resources, abilities, team weapons, suppression and retreat, uh, range and combined arms, cover, line of sight, even snow. Uh, we've got a section with game tips that are all alphabetized that show you everything. Um, now let's go back and take a look at what's available to us uh, as far as the campaign goes. Uh, you've got the Arden Assault, which I, I, I would assume is the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, so that's an add-on that can be purchased where you take on the U.S. forces in the Battle of the Bulge. Um, but the, the regular campaign, the Soviet campaign, uh, is what comes with the base game. Uh, now, you also can spectate. You can go in and watch multiplayer matches, which is a great way to learn uh, for multiplayer. You can watch your own replays of what you've played to kind of learn from your own mistakes and successes. You've got the in-game store. You've got modding, uh, which is incredible. So even though this game is several years old, there's so much replayability here that I think uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun, whether I record the videos or just play this on my own. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So let me know your thoughts. If there's something particular you'd like to see me play, or if you have the game and you want to play some multiplayer, I'm all about that. Uh, now that I'm home most of the time, I've got more time on my hands, and we can we can get some multiplayer matches going with some of you, the viewers, and we even record those things. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so let me know your thoughts, what you want to see. Uh, here is the alt, the online uh, auto match versus players, auto match versus AI. Uh, create a custom game, then there's a public game list, uh, so you can see a little bit of that there. Um, skirmishes as well. There's a lot there. There's uh, browsing through you know, some of what people are doing on Twitch at the moment. Somebody's got 211 viewers, so must be popular. Uh, use the comment section below and let me know your thoughts, and we will play some more Company of Heroes too, as time permits. Thanks for watching.